I, off topic, I have had so many urges to just finish uni and work at Disney for the rest of my life. And that's, that's where I'm at in the mindset right now. <laughs> This video is just going to be me like talking about like my degree, um, typical law student brag. Came across someone a couple weeks ago, I think. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, who did like one of these like explaining my degrees. Um, I can't remember who it was, and I can't find the video, so I feel a bit bad. But if I could, and if I do come across it, I'll put it in the description. Obviously, in different countries, degrees are different. England, most courses are three years long, whereas Scotland, most are four. What's what makes my course? It's a course. So I study LLB Law, which is like a Bachelor um, of Law, I think is what LLB stands for. I don't actually know, which is quite bad, which is different to BA Law. BA Law is like, BA Law is a bit less full on than LLB from my understanding. I could be wrong, but from my understanding, LLB is a lot more in depth. If you've watched my videos before, you probably already know this, but I study at the University of Stirling, which is in Scotland. So my course is a four year course. I started in, in September 2017, so I'll graduate in April 2021, May 20, sometime in 2021, um, just before summer, I will graduate. I'm in third year at the moment. I was going to say I've just started, but we're like a month and a bit in. The reason I do LLB Law is because I wanted to be a lawyer. Do I still want to be a lawyer? No, I have very little intention at the moment of becoming a lawyer. Do I still want to do something with my law degree? Yes, I would love to go into a field to do with law, but I don't want to be a solicitor. I, off topic, I have had so many urges to just finish uni and work at Disney for the rest of my life. And that's, that's where I'm at in the mindset right now. So my degree is a lot, a lot of writing work. You, I think first year I had quite a lot more. In fact, all of my modules had exams, which last year and this year, not all of my modules do have exams. Even with the exams, they're heavy coursework. There's essays and reports a lot of the time. Um, I think we've got a digital essay to do for one of mine, which is like a PowerPoint presentation, but we don't use PowerPoint for it. We use Adobe Spark, which none of us really understand why we don't just use PowerPoint because it does the same thing and it's easier, but anyway. Yeah, studying in Scotland means that tuition is free for me. Because I am Scottish, because I've lived in Scotland for a set amount of time, I've lived in it my whole life, but there's a set amount of time to reach the criteria, I get university for free. I pay my tuition. The only kind of catch is that you obviously have to pay your own accommodation if you're moving away sort of thing. You have to still buy the uni books. But I don't really tend to buy all the uni books, I tend to borrow them from the library and a lot of the stuff you'll find online, like the same books, I tend to buy ebooks more than actual books. Um, because I'm Scottish, I also get free healthcare and a couple of free prescriptions. There's a lot of things that I didn't realise that we got free that a lot of other people didn't get free um, when I was working in America over the summer, which I'm sure you've never heard me say. Um, I didn't realise how much like other countries pay for college slash university. But um, uni here is free for me, so no qualms. And to make up my degree, we have to do three modules a semester. So in first semester, I did contract law, delict, and public law and legal systems. Second semester, we did... I'm going to have to go look this up. I can't believe I've forgotten what modules I've taken. This is absolutely shocking. No wonder I'm failing. No wonder I'm never going to be a lawyer. This is abysmal. The second semester we did criminal law and evidence, which they put into one module, even though it's technically two subjects, which can be a bit confusing, but it's it was okay. Um, family law, which I really enjoyed. And then we continued public law and legal systems because that was a four to credit module. So you do it over the whole year, like both semesters. Second year, um, we had a little bit more of a free choice in the way that, in first year you don't get any choice in your modules. Those are the modules and you do them. Second year, you have two prescribed modules, commercial law, property, trust and successions, and those two are four to credit modules, so they run the full year. In semester one and semester two, you also get to pick an optional module. Well, it's not optional because you have to pick one, but you get to pick a module that's not to do the law. I picked um, psychology for my autumn module, introduction to psychology, which was actually quite good. Yeah, everything was multiple choice. Like that was the coursework, take from that what you want. Um, and then on the spring 
semester I did work employment and society which I think is like a HR business module I don't actually know what it was for this semester so first semester of third year I am doing energy law intellectual property law and then we have a we have a module called research methods which is one of the prescribed modules so that only lasts like this semester unlike the other prescribed modules we've had um, but it basically is all coursework. Coursework due for IP on Monday and coursework due for energy at some point next week but I can't remember when. Next semester I have picked to do media law which is like media, the law of media. <laughs> Jurisprudence is the, I don't actually know if that's how you say it but anyway that's our prescribed module for next semester and then the other module I take I took was law of, fin law, law of finance and banking but that's been changed to I think it's mergers and acquisitions yeah so if I wanted to be going and be a solicitor you need to do a one-year course and um, which is like eight grand and it's like I don't know if I want to do it so I don't think I'm gonna jump into doing that and then you get a four-year traineeship and then you go through other things probably can sit the bar so it's a long journey to do law um, the only other issue with doing law in Scotland is that you can only practice in Scotland unless you do a conversion course and that's like an extra two years of your time so it's a bit kind of like uh so we have our exams in December so our exams this year run from the 4th to the 13th of December I think so I've got one exam on the 4th of December and then one exam on the 9th of December and that's me so we use the same classification system for our degrees that English um universities use which is like the third lower class second upper class second first basically like a first i believe is like 70 percent up uh upper class second is 60 percent up and upper class a lower class second is 50 percent and up and a third is 40 percent and up a pass at uni for us is 40 percent that's kind of like a rundown of my course i don't know what i thought this video was going to go on a lot longer yeah, this is just kind of like a start of like law videos that I'm going to start doing. They're mostly going to be me crying about um, exams and about coursework. I'm going to be going to the library a lot more this year. I went a lot towards the end of last year, which I did like a study um, montage of for final exams. But I'm going to be going pretty much most days every week from now on. I don't actually have a set way that I do study, which I think is a lot of my issues is that a lot of people have like notes so they'll go through like problem questions i don't i just really hope for the best i need to figure out a study method that suits me i've never been able to do this even in like high school i really didn't know how to study i just start reading things and i was like yeah this will do the only reason at this point that i'm going to finish my law degree is because i want to be the scottish elwoods and i will not settle for any less but yeah so i'm going to be doing like a couple of different law videos which really probably won't be that interesting because I don't really think you can make it interesting and um, I'm thinking about starting weekly vlogs but my life's not really exciting enough to do weekly vlogs other than me crying over uni work every day anyway so if you have any messages about studying law in sterling you're more than welcome to message me anytime on insta um or so just before I go this jumper you may have noticed says the wildest ride in the wilderness. Any of you who are Disney fans might recognise it. One of the best Disney rides ever, aka Big Thunder Mountain. It is a steamboat style original. Um, they do not sell this jumper anymore, but I'm going to link them below. That's their socials there. Um, I'd really recommend you give them a follow and a wee look at their stuff. Their, all their stuff is so cosy, so lovely. You might see me about on the pages very rarely but occasionally so it's run by jake duran um, and another friend of mine georgia goodall helps out i'll put their youtubes in below um, and their socials are here because i'm being nice to them for the first time ever um jake and georgia and me met when we were in florida but that's just where the this jumper comes from so i hope you've enjoyed this video stay tuned like and subscribe yada 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 can't be bothered saying it all um yeah Cool, catch you later. <laughs>